Um, now, I got to start at the beginning of the game. 4.7 trinkets are reduced. And what are CLG's thoughts on the level ones with the new trinkets here? Because you had a very successful level one. Um, yeah, so right now the top teams, uh, us, C9, and TSM, as far as I've seen, we all do essentially the same thing, which is just delay invading. Um, because 30 second wards don't really cover um, like 144 invades, which is how long it takes to go from your jungle to the enemy buff, you just walk from your jungle at like 144 to any one of the enemy buffs, and they're pretty much yours, unless they're five manning at that buff. But because of the change, you can 30 second ward their buff um, previous to the invade to make sure that it's safe. So everyone just kind of does the same invading level one. That's why 2v1 is so popular. Well, everyone didn't do that this time around. And you ended up with first blood and then again, Quas teleporting in. You guys actually pulled off a very nice two versus one tower dive. Who's giving the calls there? Was that you or Afro? It looked like Afro's uh, leading that one. Yeah, so I, I, when Mundo TP'd in, I was like, does he just want me to get two kills? Like, this is cool. And then I saw he's level two, which is just a big shame because there's no way he can live at that point. Um, I think I said initially, and then Afro just hit a really good bind. And also, we're notorious for having me get first blood and then lose the game. So when I got first blood, I actually got really nervous. Because I've gotten first blood in a lot of games. We always lose. Looks like you've broken the curse against curse. Oh, that was bad. Sorry, Preek. Um, I do want to ask you, though, about Seraph. Uh, because everybody wants to know about Seraph. How is it actually playing with uh, the Korean top laner? So at first, I was really um, not disappointed, I guess worried about his English in-game, just the communication, how it was going to be during the game, especially when the crowd's going crazy and like yelling stuff. It might be hard for us to understand him, but his communication is actually getting a lot better. And right now, I mean, he's just perfectly meshed with the team. Not like his, his English isn't perfect, but the way he talks in-game is very good. I also just want to add one more onto that. Not many people are talking about what Link is bringing back from Cloud9. Has he brought back a lot for you guys? Uh, yeah, I mean, when he played with the best team in North America, he definitely took some notes, I would say, and he's helped us out a lot with the information he got from Cloud9. All right, successful uh, espionage mission from Link then. Now, the final question, you guys are going up against LMQ later today. A lot of hype around LMQ coming into it. How do you feel about the matchup? Uh, we actually played really poorly against Curse, and we're going to probably go back and watch our game and look at all the mistakes we made, because we made a lot. Um, yeah, that wasn't characteristic of us. Like, we normally don't play that badly in LCS. So even though we won, I'm pretty disappointed with our performance. And hopefully we don't play that badly against LMQ or else we might lose. All right. Well, thank you, Double Lift, for your time. We are going to send it now over to Freak at our uh, giant finger painting station. <gasps>